More information has come out from Pixar about their next great movie, The Good Dinosaur. I say great movie in terms of it looks like it'll probably be good, but also in terms of magnitude. Mm -hmm. So a lot of work went into rendering this, uh, this movie and creating the landscapes and the art that it's based on. Um, hopefully we can, can we take a little look to hopefully describe this more? <sighs> so we have Arlo, the Apatosaurus. And he's joined by Spot, a human boy who is also kind of like a dog. Mm -hmm. So they, they're joined uh, by a sense of loss. Mm -hmm. I, w I, I don't want to spoil too much, but this information was given out about mm -hmm. where we are in terms of uh, where the movie is being presented. So it's, it's a, in this world, dinosaurs yeah. can talk articulately and own farms and live on farms with their family. And it seems like uh, they- The meteor mist that was supposed to kill them. Yeah. And so this is what if. What if that didn't happen? And then human beings start to emerge as well, which is Spot, but he can't speak like Arlo can. Right. He's a little bit more like a dog. So they actually modeled him on a little dog. They drew a dog oh, first wow. and then kind of carved out the boy or found the boy in that. And so he needs to move like a human, moving like a dog. Um, and they go, they, they become unlikely friends, mm -hmm. pets, if you will. Or one of them's a pet, it's like right. Arlo. Arlo is a sophisticated <laughs> one. Um, and then we have beautiful vistas like this. Amazing. I mean, and it's not just one establishing shot like mm -hmm. in Brave. Mm -hmm. It's the whole movie. And uh, a lot of it is actually based on real life. Yeah, yeah. And I think that they were talking about that the artist that they got was a landscape artist, mm -hmm. or a director rather. So they really wanted these, these wide landscape shots and that the landscape is just as much a character as the, the other characters are. Yeah. yeah. They have very human-like qualities. For instance, these are the T-Rexes, the yeah. which come off more or less like cowboys. Right. And they are, are, you know, some rustlers come along, some rustler velociraptors, which have feathers designed to look like mullets. So great uh, that they're taking the, that new reality of like, oh, the raptors had feathers back then, yeah. and they're, they're incorporating that. Well, now the kid's growing up. Let's use these, this actual information yeah. to give them more anthropomorphic qualities. Right, because now all the kids are mad, like, this is not what a Velociraptor looks like when I was a kid, but now it will be. Like, people will know that. We also have uh, this character who is collecting creatures <laughs> that aren't dinosaurs, kind of like, you know, a mobile pet shop, <laughs> a mobile display, uh, and he wants he to eventually so happy about it. take Spot, mm -hmm. and, uh, and Arlo, who had been resistant to keeping him as a dog boy pet, uh, has decided, no, no, I'm, I'm going to take care of him. You stay away at that point. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of a cute juxtaposition of yeah. cartoonish, cute dinosaurs that are, you know, acting as humans might. Mm -hmm. And humans, well, one human who uh, is a, basically a puppy. Right. I mean, no one's going to cry during a movie where there's a combination <laughs> puppy slash cute child. And parents dying and yeah. finding your way back home. Yeah, and some parents die, <laughs> right. as will oh, happen spoilers, in any Disney movie. No, it's yeah. out there, I'm yeah. sorry. I'll put a spoiler alert at the top, but all of this information is not new. Right, right. Uh, but yeah, I will put that at the top for all of you out there. Um, so yeah, it's I, I like what they're do where they're going with this. So yeah. we have a somewhat photorealistic background, but it's more what they would call at Pixar painterly realism. Right, I think it's photo. so smart because you run into the risk of when you have such a realistic background of wanting to make the characters more realistic to kind of fit into that world. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, making them more cartoony is a cool juxtaposition that really makes them stand out you, from, from the I, background. I agree, like I've seen people make paintings mm -hmm. where they'll just take an old uh, like from painting. Goodwill, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and then they'll point, paint something, you know, cute and cartoony. Yeah, and like a monster it. or something. And you'll, like that. you'll notice it every time. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, it looks cool. Yeah, I like it. I mean, there's a way for it to go wrong, but yeah. I think it works here. For sure. Um, I think it's a very interesting and new style. Yeah. Um, I want to see all of. Uh, and so this insane rendering, well, <laughs> this caused some insane rendering, is yeah, what I yeah. say. So with all this painterly realism, mm -hmm. all of this USGS data, all of this, you know, using sets, rendered sets, took up a lot of room, specifically 300 terabytes of server space. <laughs> gigawatts. 300 <laughs> gigawatts, which is how we measure data now. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not how we measure data, um, which is 10 times as much as 2013's Monster University. That's Monsters insane. University, according to effects supervisor John Reich. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so they had to update every major system to make this happen properly. And there has been a lot of changes done to this movie mm -hmm. uh, in terms of story, in terms of cast. Um, but I like where they're going with this. And I yeah. like all this 
I like learning about how that they're they're creating the backdrop, the oh, world. Man. Especially coming from like someone who makes things on the internet, mm -hmm. to have the time and the budget and the freedom to go out and research. Like, let's go white rotter rafting to see what that's like. They did do that. Right? Or meet some ranchers. Let's just take time to observe the world so that when we create something, you know, it's authentic. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that would be so awesome. But then you're well, devoting that's what happened. I know, I know. But but yeah. you're devoting so much of your life to a project like this, and it's this better be a success. It better be great. For me to give it so much of my <laughs> life and my time. Yeah. Uh, but you know, judging from what we've seen so far, it's going to be a tearjerker. Mm -hmm. And you can't go wrong with Pixar, really. Uh, you can go wrong with Pixar Cars too. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this looks very promising. I'm I'm excited for how it, it is visually how the story will go, mm -hmm. and what I'll take away from it, which is probably more and more tears. I mean, I did yeah. just see Inside Out. And that oh, was, it's yeah. so good. Ooh. Lots of growing up and yeah. lots of learning to move on and become, oh, <sighs> become who you are. Audience, <laughs> what do you think so far of the, the good dinosaur, and what do you think of their style of juxtaposing uh, the cartoonish with the very realistic? Let us know below in the comments, and please like and subscribe for more.